Okay, cut out the rusty part of the trunk floor and made a repair panel here. Just ran these through the bead roller. Instead of trying to start in the middle, we just ran in from the end, which does kind of stretch the edges a bit. So just kind of beat it back flat and shrunk it out. And now I'm just gonna detail up the corners here so that the body lines don't just kind of stop in the middle of nowhere. Be nice if that uh, was a little smarter looking than that. I'll just take this and uh, just kind of smash this into a semicircular shape on the end. Do 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 just so that it defines this uh, indentation a little nicer. Maybe clean up around this end a bit. It's not really that critical, it's the trunk floor, don't really care. But just uh, for the purposes of what we're doing here. Well, there's the before and there's the after. Just defines it a little nicer, just cleaning up that end, cleaning up that end. Uh, so, we'll just do the same here and then that's pretty much ready to install. And there's the finished repair section, ready to plug weld to the frame. And uh, to the trunk drop, we salvage some of the other yellow cars over here. And yeah, anyway, <laughs> ended up making a reasonable part of this anyway. Uh, but uh, so far so good. That's all going to give zero trouble really. I'm actually pretty excited to uh, put all that together. Then we'll be very close to fitting the uh, quarter panel for the final time, we hope. That's really going to define this project overall. Once that quarter is on there, the rest of this is pretty downhill. Uh, it's just an easy coast to the finish, essentially. So let's get this guy. Where is he? There we go. Let's get that finished and get it on there. Coming soon, but not yet. Okay, tacking in the trunk pan repair. Not going too terribly badly because it's just going in. Whatever it looks like, it's going in because we haven't got all goddamn day. Putting this in, this all has to get done. It's actually going to look pretty good. Uh, I don't think you'll see it. It'll be a huge improvement. Um, and, uh, you know, fairly easy, right? Just that, I mean, it took almost no time and it's just, I mean, that was all just some ugly fiberglass thing. What are we even working on here? Pretty content with this. The Dodge wheel wells are minty. Just so, I mean, like, Massive amount of hours I don't have to spend. Massively awesome rockers and wheel tubs. I'm trying to kind of whistle this together, but it still takes a few minutes, you know. It's super fun because uh, stuff like this, can you do it in less than a year? Jesus, that's, I mean, considering what we started with, we have plates on it in less than a year. I think that, that that's not bad. We gotta just do it, we gotta make it happen. Do it. Look at that. Um, yeah, splice time. More splicing. And fitting. And after this, this is all done, done. I took the window back out so we could finish this and blah, blah. This is, uh, that is finished. So if I can get this and this installed tonight, that is a big step towards uh, putting the quarter back on because the quarter, wherever it is, it's in there hanging up, hanging up like a carcass. Uh, yeah, it'll all come out pretty nice. But uh, yeah, I mean the minutes, the minutes are adding. One, two welds and it's already pretty rigid so this has to drop off vertically so if you know this and you know this and that right then you know that and then you know this because you have this and you know this drops off then you can be relatively confident that if you've got that and that this is vertical that everything you have to do in here can be relatively easily put together so it shouldn't come past comes back and then it curls under 
so it'll be close. It's not a part you'll ever see, but it has to be there to hold the quarter panel. And it has to, of course, it, it has to fit the molding. The molding is the boss, wherever it is there, that's the boss. Um, yeah, but, I mean, right? If you've got that, right? This is the thing. Like, that's, that's correct. I don't have to, like, try and imagine where, it, you know, that's correct. So if I've got, you know, a lot of this is about having good datum, data. If it's about trimming it properly, the whole process. If it's trimmed properly, it's just like going back in time and and uh, and just putting the pieces together, you know. And uh, so the more of the original subassemblies that you can keep together, the less actual probability that you're going to allow a lot of error to sneak into anything. Put your beacon and weld up the cup. There's the quarter panel. Um, just held on with a couple of clamps. Uh, it seems to fit very well so far. So the next step is to take it off again, trim it almost to the final fit, and I have to modify the back there where the bumper goes. There wasn't really much there to go by, and it's not quite right. So I'm going to take it off, fix that stuff, put it back on. I don't know, hoping it doesn't have to come off on too many more times because we have to get this thing done. Let's just get this car done. Okay, well, we're, we're uh, zipping along here, installing this quarter. So, one way to do this is uh, to cut through both panels at the same time. I go, you know, six, eight inches at a time. I've got it all screwed on so nothing can move. And then, uh, Peel the overlap off, and there should be similar overlap inside here. Get inside there, you don't want to weld that garbage back onto your car. So, peel that out of the way. And now we can come down here and uh, we'll just weld that. There's just enough of a gap for a nice weld and uh, yeah, just going six inches at a time. Yeah, that'll turn out fine. You know, there's going to be a few mistakes like that, but whatever, right? Just tack, tack, tack. Go back and fill in between, then in between until there's no gaps. We're just running along the top here, welding it as we go. Um, yeah, so far so good. Um, we'll have a look here when we get the rest of it done. But, uh, going to look like a car again. Uh, pretty reasonable amount of welding, actually. I'm very glad that we hammered all that nice before we put it on the car. Of course, it's very hard to get at it now. I'm going to have to stretch this area out. Of course, it shrinks when you weld it, so this has gotten a little flat. But really not much, uh, not much I can do about it. I've been trying to control the shrinkage as much as possible, but there's always going to be some. So I'm going to either uh, put a dolly on the outside here and hammer it from inside, or see if we can borrow a, a proper 
planishing hammer for my friend Matt who collects antique auto body tools of course and we're going to uh, we'll hammer it out that way one way or another we'll get it back to true before we uh, before we start any body work I'm right here, you want me here? oh you're back, you're all the way up here? yeah where do you want me? see you right here okay. let's see, go okay where's the hammer? it's not, uh... it's not very easy to get at so you're talking mess, right? And I can try to stretch that. Okay, can you move that way a tiny bit, maybe half an inch? Remember, try it again. Against this, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what that's what's pushing all this out. Yeah, great. Okay. I don't but, care. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm okay now. We actually. I'm off. Don't, I we got, don't want to be. I got no dolly on it. Where do you want? Good. Yeah. How far ahead can you get? Uh, put your hand for a second. Are you down here, kind of? I am. Go go ahead a little more. I'm about there. Really? Yeah. Can you back up a tiny bit? Back? Yeah, here. Here, rather, is that where you are? It looks like it shrunk a bit when I did that pinhole. See, maybe that's what's. I'm right. I can find it. Ready? 
good. Go. and then you stretch it back out. I've done that. Absolutely. And you yeah. wonder why the fuck isn't it shrinking? Because it is shrinking, but you're stretching it again. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. I don't like putting water on it. I never do. I like blowing air at it. Yeah. I just kind of... I think the cooler or the slower it cools off is probably better for it. I don't think it matters that much. Yeah. I don't like I don't like quenching it with water. But yeah. I don't think blowing the air is bad. I don't know. I've never had any bad side effects from it, but that one. Well, I guess hurt me. By the time you're doing stuff like this to your steel, you got other and, and you also have to always take into consideration. That's the doll you were using? This is the face we have. I got that's the best it's in. Well, what did you say? Well, that's all you have. <laughs> I got tons what? of dollies. Wow. That's the one that's for fucking smashing rust off of wheels. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all toys in there. You said so yourself. Yeah. That's right. What more appropriate dolly yeah, for a yeah. car with this much The old, one that was sitting right in between yeah. and I had it was close to the right shape. Yeah. Let's use that one. Hey, at least I didn't use this side. Just think. Oh my god. <laughs> like, what the fuck's the point of that? What the hell are you going to do with that? What is the fucking point of that? I guess you could put a step in a panel. Like if you had to recreate a body line, that might aid you. Fuck. <laughs> a random crooked body line. That's so That's stupid. Dope. Well, we oh, definitely got hot. a good. It feels pretty good in here. It's really good. Yeah. Is it? That really nice. came back. Uh, yeah, that'll. I'm gonna just planish that out a bit, but we're not gonna. Oh go. fuck! We're yeah. done ski. We're yeah. done in here. Yeah, that worked out really yeah. well. Yeah, that's right. Oh Christ! Now I've got to stand up again. Okay. Now back to. Now you don't have to waste another day dinging this corridor around. Now it's pretty much turned into mud. fucking mud time. All right. I just thought this might be fun. This is uh, the uh, splice of the rear of the yellow car to the driver's side of the blue car. And everything from here down was missing on the blue car, so we're saving it from the yellow car. The yellow car is going to need some of it replaced, but not all this. It's actually quite good. It's actually really nice, so I don't have to build any of this, which is really nice. But we have to make the decision at which point we are going to start using the blue car, and that's kind of through here. So we've got this very rudely thrown in here. When we slid the uh, ass end of the yellow car on, it ended up on the wrong side of this, so I had to kind of mangle this to pop it around on the inside. So I'm going to kind of, what we want to do is trim this so it all welds in flush and then we'll, uh, we'll have another look at it. What I'm going to do here is just tack the two outer quarter panel skins together because they happen to line up perfectly now. That'll allow me to take the last screws out and kind of fit the rest of it and then we'll start butting the seam together and uh, just straighten that out a bit. Now it's on the right side of this guy, so uh, we'll fit the tail light at some point before we finalize anything. Uh, I'm stripping the paint off of the Fury Corner here. That's how it looks. So, uh, looks like one repair paint job and one original paint job coming off there. You can see primered area starting to show itself. Saw somewhere about putting uh, 
plastic on, so we tried that. It seems to have worked better. Or more better, I guess. Hey. Okay, I'm going to uh, scrape this up. Really fun. What else have we got going? <clears throat> the tail fin marriage going together here at the back. Okay, that's the first rough uh, pass with the weld and grind. Now we just uh, tidy that up a little more. Then we'll be moving on to welding the fin back together and welding the back of the uh, quarter to the inside trunk jam, which is also the inside of the fin. That's all coming together nicely. This side is virtually tacked together, more or less ready for bodywork. After we strip it off, this side, uh, just uh, repair panels. Kind of axed that. We took all this off because it's, uh, you know, it's uh, it's too bad. It was uh, just not, you know, maybe. <coughs> It's just too too far gone to try to save it. Uh, we might as well take it off. I think a lot of this may have been well. It almost definitely was caused by uh, silt building up behind that big stainless molding. But that's all. There was like a, a dirt line here, and then the water would just come in and sit on top of it. That's about whatever year it got shut off, right? And then the water would just come in, sit there. So, uh, yeah, couldn't really be saved. And the blue car, similar story. The blue car was actually so far gone up here that I thought, why not take a little more of, uh, why not take a little more of our, of our uh, yellow buddy here and just kind of, right? Like, you know, it's gonna save some time putting that in there, whatever. Down here might ought to all still go, we'll see. But back here, really actually very nice. So that's good. Easy, easy times ahead. So next is uh, clean up the, clean up the inner, or the trunk drop here. Not quite usable. Too bad, I might, I might, uh, I might just repair it. Just come in here. And then uh, up through there, and then, uh, you know, just kind of, because the rest of it, you know, it's all right for what we're doing. Maybe just kind of come across. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how uh, control it gets. Just so happy to be working on a different part of the car. I just, uh, <laughs> right? I mean, it was taking some time there, that other thing. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I'm uh, just really happy that somebody else is painting this on me. Yeah, there was some there was some rude fitment afoot when we whistled this together. So this all has to get tidied up now. This is the remains of the dart wheel arch. Um, sad that. There was just no way, really, of, of retaining it. Even though they're the same shape, the profile is uh, is different. Uh, and you can see that uh, it actually rolls. The flare, I think, is bigger on the Dodge. So, uh, or rather, deeper. Anyway, I'm happy with that. That's going to look fine. We'll sand that up. Ditto, ditto. I stretched it back out a bit. It was a little, little tight for all the welding. And yeah, so we'll just mm, snip all this off here. Uh, all the way, maybe right to the front. Let's see what happens. I can't do much grinding because Stephen's painting is bad, so I'm uh, kind of reduced to little origami projects here. So 
I'm gonna kind of, you know, make. I don't think we need to make this whole thing. It's actually quite, quite decent. It's nice up here. It's nice. So why not just kind of repair it? Okay. It's fine, right? Uh, the other one took a long time. This way I can probably make this little corner a lot faster than making the whole thing. Okay, well I bent that flange a little more. Now we really need to know if that uh, direction change is enough. And if it's not, we keep stretching in our original plan there until that flares out just the right amount. Then we're going to start shrinking the second shape into it, which is the return uh, for the inside of the wheel arch. There's the hole for the drain plug. Turn up the base car, 1958 Citroën Du Chevaux. This is probably the most base car that we've ever had. Hey, would you say? Yeah, it really is a privilege. Right, like yeah. if base is base your thing. Bases. Yeah, it's the most base car. What what more can you say about a car that was designed to outbase the Model T? Hey, Frankers. Yeah, yeah. French oh, car oh, time. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it like it's a CBA? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like this beautiful little... Uh, uh, so... I'm missing this little view here. Anyway, just a oh, treat. Yeah. Just a treat. Give us, the, give us the numbers on this baby, Bruce. Numbers. 1958 De Chevaux. 14 horsepower. 425 cc. Air-cooled. Terrific choke, and away she goes. Nice. Hey, Let's have a look at the full instrumentation. Uh, uh, new for 1956 was a light on the speedometer, so you could actually drive after dark. Is that factory and, equipment? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, there's the one, two, three. That's your shift points. Yeah. yeah. 50, oh, it maxes out at 50. You have never get this thing up to Well, this is like, this is like how many, how many domestic cars kilometers? are showing, like 220? Yeah, right, yeah, it's like, yeah. No, your Chevette was not going 220. <laughs> What's this here? Oh, that's the, look at this. There's the HVAC system. On, oh, yeah, 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 off. yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's right, that's your little defogger there. Yeah. There's your, is this there's electric? Your, uh, yeah, it is. So for Canada, they actually ran it off this extra thing. So the, the factory oh, ones, okay. the, the European ones ran off of the, uh, the Speedo cable. One of the features of these is you can just pull the interior out for when you get to your picnic. When your picnic's over, you just put your car back together. <laughs> It's the only car that makes the Model T seem advanced. It is. Or at least the Model A. I like these. Maybe the Model T? There we go. You good? Well, the Model T, the, the latches are inside the door. Okay. But I guess I'm a Model T elitist now. What's this guy? This is the turn signal. This is the, this is the <laughs> self cancelling turn signals. So you just kind of do that and it kind of ticks down. Oh, that's the best. This one. Uh, this is like a parking light. I'll have to show you outside. But like okay. when you were, it just turns like on one of those little one watt bulbs on the outside. So oh, yeah, when you were yeah. having your restaurant, your dinner at the uh, at the restaurant, no one would come and crash into you on the side of the road. <laughs> Hundred times better than this. Well, this you don't a, have thirty-year-old gas. This in is them. the barely running version. Yeah. There she goes. What's the tack say? <laughs> the tack is. Uh, I don't Your know. Ears. My ear's not tuned that well yet. And yeah, we're going for second. Oh yeah. We really should go down the street and back. Is that okay? Yeah. 
Uh, Where do we go? Left, right? To your right. I gotta stop though, because I gotta be. In. Uh, I don't. No, oh. I'm, oh, I stopped. Oh, I, I don't know. Fail. I don't seem to care. They'll just think it's a lawnmower. Come on now, Got there it. she goes. So where do you want to go? You want to go back? To the right. Yeah. Speedometer. And we're going for it. Top gear. Uh, uh, I think that's only third. Oh, there's four? It's a four. Oh, cool. I don't want to push that. I don't know if I want to risk my life. Or okay. That's pretty good though. Hey. It's really fine. Nobody drives around here. They'll, they'll know it's me anyway. Be like, oh, there goes that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really amazingly comfortable. I think if it was a little quieter, like it is a bit trashy. Yeah, it's pretty trashy. I think they're all like that, though. So, where am I turning? Keep going. There's a stop sign or a yield. Oh, up they're there. out there. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, we're just going you know, to stall again when we stall. Oh, yeah, no, no worries. We might want to go to Tom's house, but we won't. He's trying not to be happy. Like you can't not be happy. How can you, can you not be happy? How can you not be happy? <laughs> Beep. Hello, Mini Frankers. What's on the lot today? Any specials? Hey, okay. it's time for base driving impressions then. Uh, I think this is the baseline. <laughs> you're driving. Oh. Okay, hit it. Test drive. What was it? Huh? Pull or I mean, neutral? Neutral there. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it's just regular. Or yeah. one is towards yeah, you. One is there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pull to start, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, probably won't idle down just yet. It will when it warms up. Oh. I'll edit that out. But spooky smooth though. I think you failed. Oh, fail hard. <laughs> fail. There it goes. Field fail. Where are we now? Yeah, I gotta keep the reps. There we go. That's good. There's no horsepower yeah. here. That's the <laughs> or, thing. Or torque. No, there's nobody. Either. No. Egg. It's 400 cc's. Yeah. This would be a small engine in a bike. What's like we have to treat it like a motorbike engine. Well, that's the thing. I don't want to. I don't want to get that's too a good, high. That's a good. That's a good RPM right there. Yeah. I don't want to get too high. No, with no, the you don't. So this is nice. Yeah. It's, well, when you're shifting. You want, oh yeah. It's just. I it's think just so good though. It's like it, it's unbelievable. Oh, holy! I'm gonna have to oh, edit this out. Or oh. Bruce is gonna fucking. He's gonna stop supporting our channel. Agent nine zero eight eight. Thanks for letting us uh, test drive your sweet dish of old. There's no other car that I would put up with this. Yeah. I'm like, get me, yeah. we did the Model A in the field and it's just like yeah. unbelievably bouncy and brutal. This, oh, that's, that's like a normal car yeah. going down a street. It's unbelievable, like it's... That truly is just the baseline for base. Okay, well, that's quite a mess. There's our quarter panel with the uh, paint stripped off it and welded in place so overall that was uh, 
really uh, quite a fun repair and we've really made a, a decent uh, piece out of that. So uh, yeah, hope you guys dig it. I was uh, quite happy to see it all stripped out finally. Got the last little dent out of it there. I'm gonna leave the old lead repair in the corner. It's pretty harmless and don't feel like melting that all out of there. The rest of it uh, came out very well. So where it's uh, joined to the blue car. There's where it's joined to itself. There's the uh, weld for the piece there. And uh, there's the rest of the job at the back. And uh, yeah. We'll do probably a full dress rehearsal with all the moldings and stuff here one time, at least before we put paint or primer on it, or maybe after primer, but before paint. And so, uh, yeah, so we can get a good picture of it there. Yeah, anyway, uh, I think a decent save on something that was really quite far gone and uh, Pretty, uh, pretty happy to see that that is the uh, the biggest job on the car by far, and it's finished. So uh, let's go on to the rest of it here. Pieces for the other side are waiting. Got that guy sketched in there, and now where do we leave off with this other thing? Oh, here it is. Okay, well I'm gonna get back to work on this guy being the uh, the return there at the on the trunk drop. Oh mosquitoes are back. God damn it. Okay. Gonna get busy here. Next I'm gonna shrink it along here on those lines and uh, that'll draw it oops, into a, a little closer to the shape we need, I think. This is where we are at with our little wheel arch repair. Oops, there. So that is starting to fit. And now the next step is to start uh, to start bending this guy over, uh, and that'll make the welding flange for the uh, for the quarter skin. This is all still just hanging around, so really giving us lots of opportunity to fine tune it as we go. Just getting the basic shape in there. And then I may either replace uh, a small piece of the rest of it or a larger piece, I don't know yet. But this is much easier than building this whole thing. There's so much extra hammering and this I've hardly had to do anything. So <clears throat> I'm gonna start wrapping that around now and then we'll uh, start fitting it and cut the, cut the old one out of the way and get started welding. There's our uh, trunk drop repair section. I'll cut the hole after it's installed. Just shrunk it around the front corner there. This is not meant to be a masterpiece. We just gotta get this thing done, holy man. So, line it up square at the bottom there. And then uh, I'm just gonna mark this on the old piece and cut her out. And uh, then we'll make any little tweaks on it as we go. Seems pretty reasonable at this point. Okay, I'll fix that. All right, there's uh, one more. Oops, off the list. But, uh, I wasn't really getting any getting around that. Next I'm going to replace a certain amount of this guy. I don't know, I might replace a larger piece of it than I first thought. But uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with that and you never see it anyway so no point getting too crazy there um, at a certain point we're going to cut all of this away 
Right now I'm going to just finish up tidying up this little splice here and then that and we'll get all cut all the way down there and um, I think we're going to find maybe some repair at the front of this wheel arch as well on the, on the inside. Or not, we might get lucky. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that looks better. While I was at it, I decided to replace the bottom half of that uh, trunk drop as well. At least as far back as the last cross member there. The rest of it's fine, but it was just so thin along here and, well, by the time you mess around with it, it's easier to just put a big piece in there like that. So, that means that this is ready to move on to the next piece here. So, like that, I trimmed the quarter off. Here's the finished uh, splice on the back there. So that's the blue car and that's the yellow car. The yellow car is just so I get all this. This was all missing before. This is all fine. That's blue car and it's through there. I don't know how much of this I'll be able to use. Maybe a lot of it, maybe not much. But it's cleaned up and installed for now. And I guess the last thing is to check the drain plug. All right, nice. Uh, okay, um, next thing is to cut the Dodge uh, wheel arch out of the way and see how much of the front of the wheelhouse needs to be repaired. The rest of it looks really good. This is all really good behind here. This we don't need. Oh, it's our buddy Retro Old School. Elton, what's up, buddy? Hey, holy fuck, how come you sound so far away? <laughs> He's a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. Thank you. 